Uh, okay, we've got a lot of feedback this episode, but I devoted this video because it's a little on the longer side. This is definitely a longer video than we normally play on the show. We usually ask for around a minute uh, at the most. This is three minutes, so be, you know, prepare yourself for this. But I thought it was a really great explanation about something that maybe some people, myself included, kind of overlook when we're talking about USB-C, USB uh, power delivery, that sort of stuff when it comes to chargers. Steve Main uh, recorded this video and really does a great job explaining it. So, Steve, take it away. Hey, guys. I uh, wanted to explain what USB PD was since a lot of people are confused about it. Um, I got a Google Pixel phone and it's been the first experience I've had with USB PD. It took me a little bit to understand what it was and whether I want to have it or use it, that type of thing. So I just figured I'd help some other people out. <clears throat> so USB PD stands for power distribution and it's just an open standard and an open standard just means that anyone can use it. Anyone can, it uh, doesn't cost any money to use. And <clears throat> what it allows you to do is um, your wall charger can support what are called power profiles. Uh, so USB PD power profiles. So it can support a five volt power profile. It can support a nine volt power profile, a 12 volt power profile, uh, I believe 16 and 20 volt power profiles. This allows you to charge multiple different things with the same power source. So you could have a power source for your laptop that would support, let's say the 20 volt uh, power profile, uh, the 12, the nine and the five volt power profile. So that would mean that you can plug your phone into your laptop charger uh, as well as uh, you can plug it into your laptop. This truly would mean that there's now one source uh, for power for everything that you use. There's no more power brick for your phone, power brick for your laptop. Uh, this one's 20 volts, so it won't work my phone, it's only five volts. It'll actually gonna work across the board. So this is a really great thing. One thing a lot of people don't understand about the Google Pixel devices that I've done some research and found out, the regular Google Pixel phone will actually only support five volts, three amp charging. It'll do a maximum of 15 watts. Whereas the Pixel XL will actually do, uh, will support both power, power profiles, the five volt, three amp, as well as the nine volt, two amp. So it can charge up to a total of 18 watts. Um, a lot of people are upset about this, but so if you have the Pixel XL, it's definitely worth going out and getting a PD charger. Or if you have other devices in your house that support USB PD, like a laptop, a tablet, that type of thing, it's worth getting a USB PD charger. If you have just the Google um, Pixel regular phone, it only supports one power profile. So there's real no, no need to go out and buy a USB PD charger if it's more expensive. Um, if you can get it for the same price as a five volt charger only, then it's worthwhile. I have. I have USB power banks at 16,000 milliamp. I have Aki chargers. All these charge my Google Pixel phone, the regular five inch, just as fast as the USB PD charger will. And that's because the, the regular one will only support one power profile. So I hope this clears up for people what USB PD is. Um, and make sure you're buying the right chargers for your phone. Trickle charge your phones overnight. There's no reason to um, fast charge your phones overnight. Get a nice small, five volt, half amp charger, charge it nice and slow overnight. Uh, leave your quick chargers in your car and on your power bank, stuff like that, when you need a real nice quick boost when you're in the middle of uh, traveling to work, that type of thing. So hopefully that clears some stuff up for everyone. Thanks. Thank you, Steve. I thought you did a, a great job of, of kind of picking apart the many, many elements of that. That was a great, that was a great video. That was, he got, he had, the, he had some props, he had some examples. That's great. <laughs> One, yeah, it's fascinating. One other thing he also pointed out that I didn't realize, uh, and he included this in the email, he said, remember, if you want to do USB PD, you must have a USB 3.1 certified cable, which for now only has USB-C tips on both ends. If you use a USB-A tip to USB-C, your cable is going to dumb down to only use 5 volts, 3 amps max. So you won't wow. get the increased uh, charging capability, the, the increased speed. Uh so even even though he, he spelled this out and it's, it all makes a whole lot of sense, it's still a little confusing when I think about all the different combinations that I have at my home and like really picking apart and going, okay, well, these are the ones that I need to throw out or, or you know, put in a cupboard and not worry about anymore versus uh, these. But Google actually sells an 18 watt USB-C charger with USB power delivery right now for 35 bucks. So if you want get to on, get on this train, uh, and, uh, you know, see the benefits of that. You can pick that up for your Pixel device. Aaron, did you end up getting a Pixel? I did not. I still have my Nexus 6. 
and wow. it still works great. And I don't, I just don't feel like I need one yet. I'll wait for the price to drop or see what they come out with next year because I just, I, I just don't need it. It, it. Everything works just the way I want it. So, you know, the only complaint I have is that the device is a little wide as everyone is aware. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a little heavy, but otherwise it, it runs all my apps. It does everything I want it to do. Um, and I was a little bit, I don't know if you guys covered this. I was a little bit, uh, I know it's been cracked now, but in terms of rooting my, I always root my phone and that was a question mark, um, when it came out, when it was, when it was, uh, initially, um, uh, released. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's another reason why I didn't get it right away. Right. And, uh, and, and what's, what's interesting, and Aaron, I'm right there with you. I mean, I'm on my next bit Robin and I'm happy with it. So I'm not, you know, like I, I'm going to wait on the pixel. I'm going to wait either the price comes down or it, quantities become more available. But going back to Steve's video about this stuff, this stuff is confusing for us. Right, you and me, Jason. I'm right. sure Aaron. Aaron, you probably already knew all this stuff because you're you're a genius like that and much smarter than I am. But <laughs> how can the average customer even navigate this? That's my concern with it. Like I, I, I explaining this to somebody, even even my sister or you know or somebody like you know of similar age, like explaining to the average customer about getting the right cable with the right power brick and all that sort of stuff. It just it's it's so not consumer friendly. It just worries me. Yeah. Yeah, it is a problem. I think, but you know, that's what it's it's supposed to address, right? I mean, eventually, I think it's really going to be a problem for the next few years, just because we've got the older platform and the newer platform, and you know. But eventually, once we get past that, it'll be like, oh, this is so much easier. Like, why didn't we just do this all along? Remember the days when we had micro USB and mini USB and all of this other stuff, and it didn't charge very fast and all that. So, I mean, we're heading. I think we're heading in the right direction, but unfortunately, just like anything that has this series of iterations, it it does become very confusing for the consumer. Um, um, the only thing I saw in that video I disagree with is is when he said to use a, a 500 um, milliamp charger overnight. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I don't even know if my phone would charge on a 500 milliamp charger overnight. Um, I'd still have to use at least a one amp charger, and it's still a trickle charge. Right. But right. <laughs> I was like 500 milliamp. No way. Yeah, I mean, is the point there that if you if you limit the amount of times that you fat that you charge your battery quickly, then you extend the life of the battery? Is that the thought? Exactly. There? Yeah, that's exactly right. You want to extend the life of the battery. I mean, you know, it's especially important because now that there's, you, you can't replace the battery very easily um, in a lot of these devices. Right. Um, you know, when you could just pop the cover off and put a new battery in, hey, that was okay. You know, yeah, I, I'll, I'll pay the the the, uh, the toll, so to speak, on charging, fast charging my battery because I know I can always just get one on eBay or Amazon. It's going to be 20 bucks, slap it in there and it'll be fine. But now that you can't do that, uh, or at least the average consumer can't do that, um, then you do have to kind of start thinking about it. And that's why um, the other thing I was thinking about in terms of phones, since we haven't talked about this actually, is the, uh, what is it, the Mi Mix Explorer? Yeah, the Mi the, Max. The, the, new, the Mi yeah. Max Explorer, whatever it is, that new big fancy one mm -hmm. um, that they're supposed to be coming out with. I mean, that looks really interesting to me. Um, and it's it's kind of ironic now that Google has finally come out with their own hardware um, and everyone's all excited about it and it's doing good in the marketplace. I'm kind of like looking around like wow, that phone looks a little bit better to me because it's got dual SIM and it's got uh, external um, storage attachment. I can put an SD card in it. Uh, I'm not sure if the battery's removable or not, but I mean, it's got all these other features that I like and the thing looks pretty darn good without any bezel to, to speak of. So, Oh, so it's uh, not the Mi Max. The Mi Max is the larger, uh, let's see here, Mi Max, Mi Max Prime. You're thinking about the the three of the four corners are bezel-less, right? Yes, yes, yes. I forget what it's called. I thought yeah. it was the Mi Mix Explorer. Maybe I Maybe did it wrong. Mi Mix Explorer. Let's see here. I know we, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. In fact, last we week. We did, yeah. We had uh, that video, right? The last week we had the video because uh, Ron Amadio had the Mi Mix yeah, it's the Mi Mix. It's just the Mi Mix? Yeah. Yes, I believe I'm so. I'm looking it up too. Um, uh, yes, Mi Mix versus Mi Max. Yeah. Well, yeah, that is. All I wonder why that's phones. confusing. The Mi yeah. Mix and the Mi Max. Yes. Oh, Mi Mix. Mi Mix. <laughs> the Mi Mix. Yeah. Uh, I should also point out that the Pixel XL and I believe the Pixel both do ship with the USB PD 18 watt um, power adapter in the box. So if you get one, you get one of those by default. Um, now I'm realizing maybe I shouldn't have mine by my bedside because that's where I charge overnight. <laughs> I should get, like you said, the slow trickle charge by my bedside for at nighttime and then put that somewhere else for when I need the emergency, um, boost. So I will do that.